Welcome to Sphere Finance. I am Price Time, and you're watching Sphere TV. If you have questions about Dystopia and how it works, then this is the video for you. But first, if you end up enjoying the video and haven't already, subscribe. It helps support the channel, and by ringing the bell, you will automatically be notified when we create new content. What does it mean when something has more or less votes, and what does the percentage mean? The voting system is an integral part of what makes Dystopia so powerful for building liquidity. Users who have DYST can lock or vest it to receive VE or vote escrowed DYST. These VE DYST can be used to vote on different liquidity pools. Pools with votes will receive that vote percentage of the weekly total DYST emissions, and DYST emissions are what boost the pool's APR. So, more votes on a pool mean that pool receives a higher percentage of the total DYST emissions that week, which means a higher APR, which attracts more liquidity providers to that pool to build liquidity, allowing for higher swap volume thanks to lower slippage, bringing higher swap fee revenue to voters, attracting more voters and more liquidity, and the cycle continues. What does it mean when it says bribes? Bribes are like an auction where anyone can pay voters to vote on a specific liquidity pool. These bribe amounts are then shared amongst all voters for that particular pool. Bribes provide another way to incentivize liquidity indirectly. More bribe incentives, more votes, more DYST emissions, higher APR, more liquidity, and so forth. In other words, anyone can encourage liquidity through bribes, but voters still ultimately control liquidity. Is total liquidity an indicator of something good or bad, and why is it important? The total liquidity is a measure of the total number of tokens held within the liquidity pool. The more liquidity, the better. This is because higher liquidity reduces slippage. Slippage refers to the difference between the expected price of a trade and the actual price at which the trade is ultimately executed. For example, when swapping stablecoins, if there is high slippage from low total liquidity, you may only get 99% of your swap back. On the other hand, if there is low slippage from high total liquidity, you may get more like 99.99% back excluding fees during your stablecoin swap. When swapping small volumes, slippage is not as big of a deal, but when millions of dollars are swapped per day, low slippage from high total liquidity is essential. Is APR important? Meaning, is higher always better? Overall, higher APR is always better for users. APR is an abbreviation for annual percentage rate, and is the total yearly interest paid to users. For Dystopia, the APR is paid in DYST tokens. The APR listed is variable because fee revenue from swap volume and total votes for increased DYST emissions will change over time. As an example for what to expect with APR, say a pool has 20% APR. If you deposit $1,000, then by the end of the year, and assuming the APR does not change, you would have made 20% of your deposit, or $200, in DYST. If you reinvest your earnings back into your deposit to compound your position, the APR becomes an APY, or Annual Percentage Yield. You can actually calculate this yourself easily using APRToAPY.com. For example, let's say I manually compound a 20% APR earnings every week. This gives me an APY of around 22.1%. So, when compounding weekly, instead of making $200 for the year, I would instead make around $221. On Dystopia, there is a range of APR that users can receive. The minimum is what you receive if you only deposit and then stake liquidity into Dystopia, and do not vote on the pool. Users who also vote on the pool will earn a boosted APR up to a certain variable maximum, providing additional incentives to use the voting system. Is volatile better than stable for returns? Does it make a difference? 
Whether a pool is volatile or stable does not necessarily impact its APR. Stable pools mean that the price of each token is stable relative to the other. This is easiest to see with stable coins, as they are built to maintain a 1 to 1 ratio between them at all times. Volatile pools mean that the price fluctuations of each token are independent of one another. For example, with the WMATIC DYST pool, WMATIC could go up while DYST goes down or vice versa. Some volatile pools may be composed of correlated assets that tend to rise and fall together like WMATIC and DYST, while others are composed of non-correlated assets like WMATIC and USDC. This pair is a non-correlated volatile pair because the price of WMATIC will always fluctuate while the price of USDC remains stable. Non-correlated assets suffer a higher degree of impermanent loss over time. Impermanent loss is the difference in return between when you are holding tokens together at a 50-50 ratio in a liquidity pool versus simply holding them separately on the blockchain. Is TVL different from liquidity, and why is it important? TVL is simply the total US dollar value of all assets deposited in a particular pool. Recall that TVL is important because higher liquidity means that more money can be readily swapped without having to pay high amounts of slippage. Why are total pool amount and total pool staked important? In the liquidity tab, you can see balances for your wallet, your pool amount, your staked amount, the total pool amount, and the total pool staked. When you have tokens on the blockchain separately, they will show up in your wallet. Once you deposit liquidity into the pool on Dystopia, that will show up in my pool amount. If you then stake your Dystopia LP into Dystopia, it will show up in my staked amount, and you will start earning DYST rewards based on the votes and APR. The total pool amount is then the total amount of liquidity deposited into the pool by all users, and the total pool staked is the total liquidity staked into Dystopia by all users, including what is staked through Penrose. What do the VEST, Whitelist, and Migrate tabs mean? The VEST tab is where users can lock DYST to receive VEDYST voting power. The Whitelist tab is where users with at least 0.2% of the total DYST supply held as VEDYST can make a new liquidity pool eligible to be voted on. Without this, a liquidity pool cannot be voted on. The Migrate tab makes it easy for users to move liquidity from another platform to Dystopia without needing to manually perform all the transactions required to do so. For example, let's say you already deposited liquidity for WMATIC and USDC in QuickSwap. The migration makes it easy to move that liquidity from QuickSwap to Dystopia, changing your QuickSwap LP into a Dystopia LP. Is creating my own LP pair a good thing, or should I find one that already exists? You are always free and encouraged to create your own liquidity pair. However, for most people, it may be better to find and contribute to a liquidity pool that already exists and is receiving votes. If you create a new liquidity pool, you or someone else with at least 0.2% of the total DYST supply held as VEDYST must whitelist the liquidity pair before your liquidity pool can start receiving votes. Should I use Dystopia to swap Sphere? Yes, now that Sphere has deposited its main liquidity into Dystopia, you will receive the lowest slippage by using Dystopia to swap to and from Sphere. As an interesting note, this also gives Sphere the ability to vote on its own pool to earn yield on its own liquidity thanks to Dystopia and Penrose. Be advised that currently if you try to add liquidity to this pool, you will have to pay a Sphere transfer tax. However, Sphere is working on a way for users to add liquidity to the Sphere pool that is transfer tax free, so stay tuned. And remember, Sphere holds core governance power over both Dystopia and Penrose, meaning that Sphere is positioned to receive significant revenue from both platforms. That revenue can be reinvested into the Sphere ecosystem and will be used to buy and burn Sphere tokens, 
for forced price appreciation of the Sphere token over time. Now, even if you're only understanding a small percentage of the information I'm sharing with you, that is okay. This is an entirely different paradigm from traditional finance, and there is a lot to learn. Active participation and baby steps are key to building your understanding, and we're here to help. Please ask questions and keep taking action because it is well worth it. The best place to reach out for help or contact us is through the Sphere Finance Discord. The link is in the description below, as well as links to the official website and other useful links, including for Dystopia and Penrose. You can also leave a comment below with your question, and we will do our best to help educate you and the community. After all, this video and channel is for educational purposes only and is not financial advice. I'll continue to post updates and educational videos about Sphere Finance, so be sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out. Click the link on screen now to watch another video. Thanks for watching and always remember that you matter for who you are.